So tonight I did a, a copy of the James Romney one-way magnetic stators and I copied everything to what he did in the videos except I used a higher grade uh, metal. You can see this is the ABS and the juice can lid, tape, that silver it's, part. Uh, made with a little bit of iron and melibum, I think the name is. But I ordered it from a magnet company explicitly made for magnetic um, shielding. These guys do exactly what he showed in his videos. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, these were N42 magnets, the ones he ordered the inch by two by quarter inch. And with this type of shielding, the batteries and the plates, there's no magnetic attraction. But yeah, you flip it around. Yeah, definitely <clears throat> magnetic attraction. You hear nothing. It's just amazing because you know, there's a little space in there. Same amount of room to burst. <clears throat> a lot of strength there. A lot of strength there. But yet when you put it end to end, there is nothing. Uh, I would rate this as a tremendous success on his part of figuring this out. But yet, simple materials. I use the aluminum tape, the juice can lid, the spacer. Uh, I use a 3 16 piece of aluminum. All in all, I'm really impressed with how this came out. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of a field there. I would say less than a grade one magnet. But yet these are N42. So all I Just incredible. Was, copy his video, and it came out exactly what he said. This is just really amazing. I, I'm not really sure why this is exactly working, but I'm presuming that most all the scenarios I've set I've seen with people setting uh, magnetic shielding devices up is that they run flashing um, stuff right next to the magnet as this is. They don't create a space like this has from magnet and then a piece of metal and then a spacer and then the shielding. I, I think it has something to do with the space facing the metal away from the magnet helps to um, unsaturate the field if that's the right word to say, and so that it more uh, more enhances the shielding effect instead of just having magnet and then shielding, but creating a space somehow enhances the effect, for lack of a better words. But this like this is repulse mode, and there's barely any feel. I mean, this is this feels like grade one magnets, not even grade five. And these are neodymiums, and these should be crazy attractive, and I do it this way, and it is. But repulse mode, God, this is just a little bit of feel, just enough to bounce it. But yet here, I mean, I have to hit it. And when I pick them up in midair, and I pick them up in midair, you can almost, you can feel the field very little. I would say it's almost like that of a steel magnet, not even a normal magnet. It's, I am really impressed. But yet here you reverse them, bam, and you got your normal strength. So my hat's off to James Romney because this is amazing.